One thing to be clear about is that a nuclear-powered submarine is not a nuclear weapon, and Australia says its subs will not be armed with nuclear weapons. Weapons-grade uranium is 90% enriched or more. When we say enriched, that means increasing the proportion of the isotope uranium-235 in it. Uranium fuel for a nuclear-powered sub is enriched to 20% or more. But the vessels do draw power from many nuclear reactors on board. Now, these produce energy by splitting atoms to create heat and in turn steam for turbines that generate electricity. So why would you go nuclear over a diesel-electric powered submarine? Firstly, they don't need to be refuelled and they don't need to come up for air and can therefore stay underwater for longer. Endurance. Whereas diesel-powered ones need to resurface regularly for oxygen and to charge their batteries. Nuclear-powered submarines are also faster, but they're a lot more expensive and larger, therefore less nimble. You do have to think about the safe disposal of the spent uranium as well, not to mention the risk of nuclear accidents. Now, six countries already have nuclear submarines, China, France, India, Russia, the UK and the US. China has six as well as 50 diesel electric ones. But unlike these other nations, Australia does not have a nuclear industry capable of supporting the submarines. Reactor modules will need to be delivered to Australia when they would be installed in the subs.